So there are some people who can center on the uh, the truth of God, but at times that truth can be twisted. And that is why if our minds are guarded through Christ, then we will uh, we will understand and know what is true and what is false. And if we center on God's truth, yes, we will be leading to the way of developing the mind that the Lord has saved us to have. And so there, it goes back to our mindset, as we can see here, in order for us to think like our Lord Jesus Christ, yes, these verses can let, let us know that we must not allow fear and anxiety to overwhelm us. Now, scripture says that we receive God's gift of salvation through faith in Christ and the mind of Christ. So then what does that mean? It means that the values and principles Christ thought and lived in history should be emulated and lived by us. Now, in the reality is that the reality of learning is that to think like Christ is to have a, a Christ-centered worldview. That is a worldview that we look at the world, that we look at things around you, that we look at the, the society, the culture, and politics, and every other thing that falls in between. If you look at all of those things based on a Christ-centered worldview, Yes, you will be developing to think like Christ. You'll be learning to think like Christ because Christ's worldview centered on the Father's worldview. And so God's gracious gift of salvation enables us to for our minds to be renewed in Christ so that we can develop through his means of grace by taking our thoughts captive unto the obedience of Christ, reading, memorizing, and meditating on God's word. 